counting to 99 was easy, but going up to the hundreds may be a bit difficult. So hang on. The hundreds are formed the same way as the tens. The Chinese word for hundred is bai. So 700 is qi bai. But wait, there's one small difference. 100 includes the e in front. So while 10 is just shi, 100 is yi bai. Notice how the tone in e changes when placed in front of the bai. It's the fourth tone, yi bai. Now how do you get all the in-between numbers in the hundreds? Just like the tens, just add them to the back. So, for example, 345 is But wait again! There are some exceptions to this as well. First of all, 200 is not 二百. Here, the 2 is changed into 两. So, 200 is 两百. Also, when there is a zero in between the hundreds and ones digit, then you must say the zero. I know this may sound a bit confusing, but you'll get it in a moment. The Chinese word for zero is ling. So, therefore, following the rules that I just stated earlier, 206 should be 两百零六. 两百零六. The final rule is, if the number is over 100 and the tens digit is a 1, then it must be said as 一十, not just 十. So, 911 will be 九百一十一, 九百一十一. I know these rules are a bit difficult to remember, so let's practice! I'll say a number in English and you say it in Chinese. 879 306 三百零六 412 I hope you did well on that, and that concludes part 2 of Chinese numbers. In the next lesson, I'll introduce the thousands, which should be much easier after learning the rules that I introduced in this lesson. Thank you for watching, and good luck with your Chinese study. 大家加油!